بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از محمد آسم آئی ایم ورکنگ ایز ڈیو آپس انجینئر گائز ان دس ویڈیو ایم گنگ ٹو شو یو ہاؤ وی کین ڈپلائی دا ٹریفک انکریس کنٹرولر آن کیونٹیز اینڈ وی آر گنگ ٹو یوز ای کے ایس دا گڈ تھنگ اباؤٹ دس ویڈیو یو لائک اٹ از دا سیٹ اپ آف اے سی ایم وچ از دا اے ڈبلیو ایس مینجڈ سرٹیفکیٹ سروس رائٹ اینڈ وی آر گنگ ٹو یوز دیٹ سو لیٹس بگین and what i've done guys uh, i've created a repo for you guys uh, let me start this section so why we're using the um, aws certificate manager it gives us a wildcard certificate and we don't have to manage the certificates management mean it is going to do auto renewal and uh, we are uh, if we use less encrypt we have to you know do some self like uh, management of certificates if they expired so let's begin uh, guys uh, this is my domain uh, test domain so let me show you this part uh, this is my domain and i've already uh, provided the c name records for the verification regarding the you know uh, domain and wildcard certificates so if i navigate to the route 50 this section this, this is the c name right okay this part uh is regarding the certificates now let's move to the helm chart so guys what you need to do you need to add the traffic repo what we are going to do we are going to use the latest version let's check the what is the latest version so i'm going to simply uh, navigate to uh my container uh i've already downloaded uh this or clone this repo right so i'm going to show you the versions available so let me do that so uh to me as far as i do the testing this seems to be the latest version of traffic ingress controller so yeah this is the one right let's control c here and now what we are going to do we are going to do simple installation regarding the values right uh, guys i'm going to show you the values file shortly while it is deploying so let me show you kubectl get nodes right i've already provisioned the cluster So you might be asking how you can provision the cluster. So in the past, I've already created a video regarding the EKS uh, blueprints and EKS. So if you navigate to the repo, I've added the link of this uh, repository. So what you need to do, navigate to this repo, clone this guy, do Terraform in it, and Terraform apply. So what it does, it is going to set up the version 1.27, and this is the name of the cluster, right? And that's all you need to do. And one thing I need to, to tell you regarding that, you need to make sure you use the default profile, I mean, default profile, uh, default profile I'm saying because uh, you might be using different profile. So you need to provide this name here if you're using a separate or different profile. Uh, if you don't want to see any errors, so I've added all the links regarding the issues here. So this is the detailed video regarding that I've already covered in past anyway. This is something uh, what you need to do regarding the EKS setup. So let me show you the stuff. We have three node cluster, right? And let me show you from the UI as well. So if I type here EKS, you will see that the version I've used 1.27 and the newest is I think 1.28 is also available. So anyway, we are using the 1.27, right? And if I navigate to my ec2 section you will see the three nodes are going to be available so guys uh okay let's move to our deployment part let me paste this command and then i'm going to explain a little bit about the values.yml and the settings are simple so what uh, you need to do so okay let me click the values.yml in values.yml we are going to use the deployment of three replicas ingress class i'm not using the default class i'm going to use this custom class regarding this custom class i need to show you that um, this uh, traffic extension class you need to add in the kubernetes crds if i scroll it down and uh, you will see let me scroll it down okay uh you will see a section class uh, kubernetes crd so uh, this is line 45 
ingress class we need to add this class here and later on we are going to use this ingress class in our deployment through annotation right so this is something uh, regarding um, the different class you want to use right you might be used internal classes external classes regarding ingress and anyway, we are going to use the network load balancer for this demo right you need to add these annotation and um, regarding that uh, there is already well documented uh, annotation uh, you can see uh, from those vertical links and we are going to use um, um, I mean certificate so I've updated the certificate this is something um, I updated uh, so I pushed uh, you need to add the ACM ARN which I've already shown you if you navigate to um, this certificate this is the ARN so you can see uh, this is different than uh, what it is actually uh, here. So um, for your understanding, I've added that you're going to use SL, SSL ports, right? And um, uh, we are going to use this idle time. In fact, uh, let me add one more stuff here, which I've added. So let me uh, navigate to this section, values.pmo. So, uh, Currently, I'm uh, disabling it, but you can also um, add this if you want to use the delete protection, protection right? And regarding the security group, guys, uh, if you don't specify, uh, it will not add any security group, but I do recommend to use security group where you can add like, um, I mean, let me do the update here, okay. Uh, you can add uh, IPs uh, from might be using the cloud player. You can use just the IPs list of those cloud players. So you can definitely do that. Let me refresh it here and just update it for you guys. Anyway, this is regarding the delete protection. So ports, guys, uh, we're going to use, uh, like we are going to expose a web and web secure ports. And, uh, and then we are going to do redirection. Uh, the important setting here is the TLS enable set to deep, uh, uh, I mean, false, because uh, you're not going to use any, um, let's say, encrypt certificates, right? So other sections are pretty self explanatory We are going to do like CPU limits, memory, and all this stuff, rollback, and global arguments where we don't want to send anonymous data, and additional argument where we are setting up like, you know, redirection to HTTP to HTTPS and add um, additional stuff and pretty much self explanatory if you want like metrics and to Prometheus, you can uh, definitely have Prometheus in your Kubernetes infrastructure for monitoring and alerting. So you can do that as well. So anyway, guys, uh, this is something with regard to the values. Now uh, let's navigate to the deployment. Traffic is now successfully set up. If I navigate to the releases section, uh, this is the release. You see latest release with app uh, 2.10 is now deployed. And what we are going to do, we are going to apply the changes regarding the, uh, regarding the deployment. So this is the basic deployment, guys. Uh, I set it up. Uh, so um, the image I'm using is this one. So this is the image regarding, let me simply remove it. So uh, these are the Google sample images where it shows the host name of the port. So if I do refresh on that, you will see later on that I will be able to see the round robin, uh, you know, rotation of request sent to different ports. So um, this stuff till here regarding line 37 is pretty much same. You have the deployment, you have the service, we are going to use three replicas. And the only change you need to make regarding uh, this work you need to add ingress route for the uh, this traffic. And these are the CRDs provided by um, by traffic. If you scroll it down, navigate to this custom section, right? And if you scroll it down, you will see the CRDs regarding the traffic.io and traffic uh, container.us are available. So you see we have this ingress route available here, right? Let me do that. So these are the two APIs. Later, uh, we can use traffic.io, but I'm using this one here, right? Anyway, 
So uh, regarding the UC annotation, Kubernetes ingress class is going to be traffic external because we are going to use that. You might be installing uh, two traffic album shard, maybe internal with internal load balancer, right? So you might be asking that we are uh, we are provisioning the network load balancer and it is the layer four load balancer, how it is going to, you know, map the layer seven traffic. The routing is going to be, is going to be in such a way that it is going to act as a layer seven uh, load balancer. I mean, um, your application will be working with uh, layer uh, seven, right? So this previously domain was, which I've tested, is this one anyway. And the rule is going to be, it is going to uh, forward the request to this. If you use let's encrypt, then uh, additional settings we need to add TLS and the secret with that anyway. Uh, we are not using that and uh, the reason I have already shared with you. Now let's apply the changes. If I do LS here, kubectl apply hyphen F and deployment. So uh, this is the um, deployment with ingress route. So if I do kubectl get ingress route uh, all name spaces right oh I do make a typo here R O U T E. Okay, you will see this ingress route has been created, and if I do kubectl get ingress classes, I think ingress yeah classes yeah. So you see this is the external ingress class we are using. So if I navigate to this section and if I navigate to the pod, our pod uh, in the deploy in the default namespace are available. So guys, what I need to do, um, I need to navigate to this load balancer section. If I do refresh here, let me uh, do the refresh. You see, uh, previously I've tested uh, with the different load balancer. So that's why it is provisioning a new load balancer, right? And what I need to do, Okay, in fact, uh, I removed it, so that's why it is showing in the UI. So what I need to do, I need to copy this uh, guy, navigate to my Route 50 this section. I need to add one entry. An entry is going to be like uh, for uh, AWS, do recommend if you're using the Route 53, you can use the alias, but we are going to use the CNAME. You can see the difference between the alias record and the CNAME records. But anyway, I'm going to put the CNM <clears throat> record here. So let me simply save it. And regarding the view status, it is going to show us uh, the propagation. Anyway, just double check and uh, what we have done regarding the entry. I need to make sure I can, uh, pop. I should copy this guy and just want to make sure that. <coughs> I've copied the um, right stuff. So it is in sync. I can navigate to this section. I should be able to see my one entry, control of B. This is the entry, guys. So uh, I set up the redirection here. So if I do HTTP uh, with this uh, domain, I should be able to see my application on HTTPS. And regarding the certificates, you can see the certificates. Certificates are valid and issued by amazon you see and these are the wildcard certificate if i do refresh it here you see the pod rotation which means that it is sending requests to different ports and these are the ports name let me show you this uh, part regarding you see these are the pod name it is spreading the traffic uh, between these ports so currently we are on nb uh, 9nb uh, 4p right and this is the one if i do refresh it is going to spread the traffic to other pod and this is the pod uh this one anyway guys this is the video regarding the elv ingress uh with traffic on aws with um aws cert manager if you like the video please like share and subscribe the channel have a nice day thank you